monster camp moment. Let's go. Can I play Kevin McLeod music? No, no, no. I mean, late. Yeah, maybe at some point. Kevin sure. McLeod farting alarm. music. I love you, huh? Um, sure. wait. There's a medium setting. Yeah, sixty minutes, ninety minutes, huh. or forty-five minutes. Let's do medium. Let's do. Let's do a medium game. Um, Farting around by Kevin McLeod. Uh, damn spooky. The stage of some of our dearest summers. Back then, we were young and never free. With school far away, everything seemed possible as the sun embraced us on our way to camp. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days or the nights and break new possibilities. It's like life could take a turn at every corner. And for us, it did. <laughs> I am the blue woman. We have Zoe. We've got Mobius. Mobi. Brian. Brian. Um, sure. Okay. Um, sure. Yeah. I'll take that. I'll take the Iron Maiden sleeping bag. And the Mobius tool. I'm the blue woman. Did you enjoy farting around? Oh, shock everyone! Okay. What what are the items? Um, you got the, the hipster costume. Oh, Liam costume. Um, too many crosswords. Flashback light, go John Golem, call call. Too many crosswords, please. Uh. Muck Griffin EP. <laughs> Uh, and how to build your own golem. Alright. I feel like this is a much cooler way to do it than the quiz. Yeah. One might say that the monster promet heart us on the highs and lows of love. In love, we were always absolute beginners. And the summer cat was known to shut the fuck up. <laughs> no one talked about it. The idea of a summer cat loomed, loomed, loomed over our heads. Close to the last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening, just three weeks away. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch that damn thing together. And so a silent, powerful, yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster farm we were again. Everything seemed uncertain. Everything but one thing. Whoever we were asking on a meteor shower date, it was probably going to be the one of the six coolest people on that bus. Joy Johnson Johima. Jima. The six people all sitting in the back seat. A badass witch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. Aravaya Mishra, 22. Aravi. A hot headed, a hot -headed an adventurer possessed by a curse who had turned out to be like the most annoying roommate ever. Calculus Hewlett Packard, version 1.1. A library computer who had become a sentient robot ready to experience life to the fullest. Dahlia Aquina, 20. A buff blue demon and warmonger who had set her sights on conquering summer next. Damien Levet, 21, a fearless demon who tastes destruction and a love of fire, and Milo Belladonna, 23, a death reaper doubling as an internet influencer who is proudly in love with life and all of its earthly pleasures. The bus trip was long. Why did they have such good hair? And all of summer could be shaped by the first step well taken. And so it was clear, it all came down to breaking the ice and causing a good impression on that person. Time to break the ice. Which of these is your favorite food? Whatever gives you best stats. <laughs> Whatever gives you best stats, damn bro. The uh, nicest guac, bro. The nicest guac. Punch this fucking face. Hmm. Which one could be a Ravi? See, I feel like it... I was thinking a punch to the face, but then that could also be Dahlia, so... Hmm. What is this? Yeah. It's fucking. Oh, damn, good job. A wine to die for, you say? Well, darling, don't threaten me with a good time. Damn. <laughs> In all fairness, though, what wine would you die for? It had it better be a good vintage, with a delicious aftertaste to carry you into the afterlife, leaving no stains on your final outfit. This is so intriguing! Bona? You have to help me decide with my hypothetical death Polly wine. toilet wine. While we're at camp. Polly's toilet wine. Yeah! Ow.
Are you on that stat boost diet too, Sasha? That's cool. I've been doing it too. It's super tough, right? It's almost impossible to get in all my daily nutrients. Do you mean like your iron and fiber and stuff? Just take a multivitamin and duh. No, who cares about that shit? I'm talking about the important nutrients. Strength, constitution, dexterity, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. They're different to the first game. At least Sasha gets it. We, we, we should work on leveling our stats up together this summer. Oh yeah! We only had three weeks left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. I just want to chill. Alrighty! Let's get a gun. That day you go diving to see what's at the bottom. Yeah, my head off! You find a comic book, you pick it up, but it's so interesting that you stay there to read it. This is bad, since you cannot hold your breath indefinitely. You rush to the surface, but before getting there, you drown a little and take some lake water that gets into your mouth. Oh, that's was... the worst kind of water! You follow some weird stuff that was in the lake water, like a whole jellyfish and two. Dude, lake water's <laughs> gross. If you're gonna swallow water that's from a body of water, then have it be the ocean, because at least it, you're just gonna die from dehydration and not You're chilling at the lake, vomit. literally because the lake water is cold. Luckily, it's still hot, because the sun's shining, and hot because Damien and my lower there. Did you like those temperature-based puns? Probably not, but that's what you get for playing with. Hashtag fail. Ugh, it's flaring all my selfies. Not the cool, on-purpose filter kind. What the The actual, accidental sun kind. It's like the sun doesn't even care about the glam. Ugh, the sun? I fucking hate the sun! Oh, well, it wasn't a huge deal to me. Lame! No, 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 it's a huge deal! The sun is huge! That sucks! I wanna punch the sun in the face! He still the hasn't sun... given up on that, huh? The sun is a diabolical monstrosity, intent on ruining our fun. You think it's ruining your pictures by accident? Yes, yes, I do think that. Follow my lead! Well, you are wrong, buddy! We need to show that fucking awful fuck brush of a gaseous ball of fire that we can enjoy the mm. So, like, find some shade? Yes, exactly! Great plan! It would be nice to find some better lighting to highlight my amazing cheekbones and I'll watch Fight me, dude! And wash the sun right out of the sky by showing you who's boss. It's us! us you and our reap shade. what you sow. I have always been great at throwing shade. Time to take to the next level, I guess. By punching the fucking sun! So, Bono, any not psycho idea? Call upon the Lord of Shadows, because he probably has some shadows to spare. Nah. Or a really big hat. I mean, like. A really big hat! Mm. I mean, there's, there are no forests, so there's trees. Sounds great! If there's one thing I know outside branding, and outside branding, social media, and influencing, it's summoning powerful dark entities. Milo does their thing, and before long, a cloud of dark, swirling, shadowy smoke manifests before you, clearing to reveal a new entity. The Lord of Shadows is a leggy, anthropomorphized, spiny insectivore with jet black, red, and spikes of red speed. Wait, Shadow the Hedgehog! Sup, fuck wards. Sup, fuck lads. <laughs> Shadow, taking a long Some drag on a cigarette and then swallowing mm -hmm. it Listen, we're trying to fight the sun. Son? The sun? Ah! That's just a fun punk ass bitch is unloaded. Real punks fight Sonic the Hedgehog. Only spiky slow babies fight the sun. I'm not a spicy red baby! <laughs> I'm not a spiky little baby. I'm a spiky little slow adult. Sure you are. Shadow's a sick flip on his hoverboard which explodes. That's how I see Sonic. I'm gonna rip off his spikes, dip them in hot sauce, and shove them all up his <gasps> butt. Come on! I invented doing that to people! Nice summoning, my low. We're clearly gonna get a lot of help from this pointy edge lord at Cover Skates. Oh, all I wanted was enough shade to take a good picture. Oh, you want shade? I just stole a shit ton of umbrellas. I'd trade if anyone has explosive. I've got a birthday party later in Florida. <sighs> what kind of nerd goes swimming about half a at least half a kilo of gunpowder somewhere on this person? Shadow folks over the umbrellas, Damien folks over the gunpowder, and the sun folks over some shade. All four of you have a great evening splashing in the sun, talking shit about the sun and Sonic. The games are too fun at once month. Today will be a fantastic day! Uh, could I see what it gives me? No. Please, hover over the thank you. 
Uh, I'll go to the boldness place. I'll go to the manor. Spirits. I'm gonna chomp them. I'm gonna... You put up a good fight, but there's just too many of them. They run away with your immortal soul. Luckily, you knew this day would come, and you replaced your immortal soul with a beanie baby years ago. Good for you on your part. You gained plus two balls. Wow. You're chilling in a spooky hallway, carving your initials into a wall that's probably actually flesh. When a Ravi charges down the hall. Uh, <laughs> hey, Sasha, it's me, Aravi. Uh, Hex is also here. <laughs> Listen, you, you gotta help me. I opened a haunted can of Dr. Pepper, and I'm cursed with invisibility. You give Hex a sidelong glance. They shrug and they're like, uh... At first I was like, how is this a curse? Being invisible is great. Permanent sneak attack bonus, and I can rob tombs whenever I want. But it's actually kind of lonely. I need someone to help me break this curse, and you always seem to down to help hot people like me with their problems. You're about to explain to Ravi that she's not actually invisible when Polly and Scott come walking down the hall, laughing hysterically. Well, Scott comes walking down the hill. Polly floats towards you upside down, holding a spectral saxophone for some I'm sorry. How did I do? Did I say it right this time? I don't know, Scott. What were you trying to say? Correct! Oh, it's okay, Correct. Scott. Ellipsis. You're great, buddy. Hooray! Hooray! Ha <laughs> ha, oh, Ravi, you got so pranked, you weren't really invisible. We just convinced you you were invisible through lying. Uh-huh. Lie! Uh, that explains why my stealth bonus didn't increase. Well, at least I'm not actually invisible. You got hexed. Wait, are you pranking a Rafi? I can help. Shaboom! Unbelievable! Just kills what? Ah! Let me be clear. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll wear off in a few hours. In the meantime, just try to enjoy this hilarious prank. I just got finished talking about how being invisible makes me sad. I hate being sad. Oh boy. Ravi seems to be one of her stabbing games. Luckily, you know a super fun invisibility activity that'll help her look on the bright side. Gay set. Finally finding out what Dominique is saying about her behind her back. Joining Forbes, 30 invisible people and 30... Hmm. I don't know. Wh wh which one do you think is which that? Hmm? I feel like the bottom one... Hmm. Hmm. I'm asking for advice here. Um... What do you think? Okay. I feel like the bottom one might be fun and the top one might be boldness, but I'm not sure. Mm. You can give it a try. You can give it a try. Alright. Bottom one then. <laughs> Smartness. Okay. I'm lucky that that was still one that was higher though. Papa Robbie submitted an application. And minutes later, she gets the good news. She has been chosen. Apparently, Forbes was anxiously waiting for a 30th invisible person under 30 to come out of hiding and apply. And the Ravi was just in the right place at the right time. Sweet! I'm hiding! I'll turn everyone invisible so we can all go! Later! Nah, I'm good. River Actual Phoenix is having another going away party at his mega mansion. We all know he'll be back in a couple weeks, but there's an open bar. No. I don't think I should go in. Whenever I'm around invisible people, I just can't stop barking. Mm. All right, suit yourselves. What about you, Sasha? <laughs> no, no. She could be my plus one. Yeah! Yippee! Very nice. Let's go. What am I then? Mm. You're my minus one to everything. Come on, let's go. Forbes picks you up in an invisible helicopter and takes you to a very fancy party. All the most infamous invisible people are there. There's name omitted for privacy. The invisible CEO of a Fortune 500 company. An invisible software developer known for his work on the short lived Tinder for invisible people. And a floating champagne glass pretending to be an invisible person to crash this. Ha <laughs> I love being invisible. Hey guys, how, is it? how great is it to be invisible on my right? 
I sure don't like having a full body with fingers and kneecaps that you can't see because I'm invisible. Word, it really is nice to be recognized by Forbes since even my own friends don't recognize me anymore. Let's toast! <laughs> I know, right? I definitely have friends who are definitely people. And also not enchanted this way. And I so get me huh? to so are we just not gonna call this floating cup of power? It's bullshit. Shut up, Hex! No. <laughs> Damn. No, Hex. Being invisible has taught me how much it hurts to be excluded. Just, just let him have his fun. You gain a new appreciation for the struggles of the ability to challenge. And towards the end of the night, Robbie even invisibly holds your hand. You gain plus yeah. two fun and gain plus one charm. Everybody choose an enemy. Say your choice out loud to the other players before playing. I'll choose Hedgehog because Shadow did. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Weasel. Player orders are decided based on which animal will become the most dangerous or aggressive or opposable fun. Definitely a Hedgehog. Sonic would be real. <laughs> right. Is there a place where I could just do nothing? Oh, no. we can still go around. Um... Yeah, this game works differently. There's another one that's night, and then you sit next to people on the list. And there's even empty logs, and you can sit next to other players. I think. Yeah, you can, I think you, you can, like, have sex with other players. That's some bullshit. Yeah! Yippee! Yeah, It's just regular charades, but apparently they love to stick extreme to the end of any game. It's your turn, and you get third times the charm. The third is easy to play despite some of your The charm is harder. You get your team to guess it right. You act as if you are more charming than you really are. You manage to do that, you get plus two charm by playing the role, and bring your team to victory. Hooray! Yippee. Maybe you're playing Mega Dodgeball against Camp Rival Camp. You take a ball to the stomach pretty early in the game. You can feel your insides bleeding. But who cares? It's all come down to an epic L1v1 showdown. Of the two most muscular players on the team, each team, Dahlia versus Morty the Minotaur. Fuck yeah! The sexy challenger appears! Listen, babe. You're oh, hot, really? but you should surrender now. You can't defeat me. I gave myself a side massage right before- You're you everyone in this scene! Oh my god. Ever. This is a takeover! <laughs> Bring it on, Minotaur. I've defeated both men and bulls in battle, but never have I defeated a half bull, half man. Mwah. Just that makes you read your face. Hashtag slay. Yes, Dahlia, you're absolutely seizing the starch ball vibe. Make that ball work for it, you murderous Cerulean goddess. <gasps> Thanks, Milo. I completely agree with you. I am a goddess. You're a good friend from North City. It's impossible not to notice. Now fuck this sports game right up. Dahlia is here! I mean motherfucking dodgeball goddess! Yeet! Dahlia is completely hyped up by Milo's cheering. She throws the ball super hard, and just barely misses the water, and crashes through the damn roof, landing in the woods. Oops. You will decide to go look for the dodgeball, and Morty comes along. So he says that he's refused, and he refuses to leave a tense, sweaty duel on the side. <laughs> Uh, we're looking for the ball. What do we know about the ball? I guess we know it's ball shaped and round and. Hey! The Mel Lady has it! <laughs> I have your ball right here, you filthy, naughty children! Since it fell into the forest, and since I consider the entire forest to be my yard, the ball is mine now! Uh, what's up, you guys? That old lady is the Baba Yaga. She's a witch that lives out here in the woods. I'm an official covered witch, so I know a fellow witch when I see one. <gasps> what? She's a witch? Dahlia, you go get the ball back. What if she puts a curse on me that makes me magically forget the location of the clitoris? You shall never get your ball back, you naughty children. I will use it to play with my pleasure kitty, Mr. the beans out. <laughs> this is totally unacceptable. I was streaming a dodgeball duel to my followers. They need to know how it ends or it'll be so narratively unsatisfying. Your friends need that ball back and you're desperate for their approval. It's time to make a trade. Offer the Baba Yaga someone that's too good to refuse. If you give us the dodge bar, we'll give you a fond memory to treasure forever. If you give us the dodge bar, we'll give you a delicious newborn child. 
I think the top one's down. Uh, well, I don't think the Baba Yaga is gonna want a freaking memory. So I think the banger, because I will if it comes to that. Every moment is beautiful. What are you saying, Morty? Of course the Baba Yaga will want a memory. Memory's the most valuable currency in the world. Milo has such a fucking voice, huh? God damn. What do you say, Baba Yaga? Hmm. Fine. I shall return your ball if we all make fun memory together. Now come back to my house, naughty children. I shan't eat you. <laughs> you four bravely followed the Baba Yaga back to a house in the forest. It's super creepy. The house moves around on chicken legs and the smell is, uh, yikes. You spend the whole afternoon hanging out with the Baba Yaga. She bakes you all for some fresh cookies and tells you tales from her life of witchery. Oh, the wisdom of the generations. So that's why I always curse the innocent people walking through my forest. It teaches them respect. Not that your generation has any respect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, super insightful point. The wisdom is just so overwhelming. Ah, yes. You finty children should be learning from me. I am your elder after all. And perhaps... You disgusting children can teach the Baba Yaga something too. Like, perhaps, you could show the Baba Yaga how to print out a recipe I found online. It's for eggplant parmesan, but I'm going to use a fresh newborn child instead of eggplant. Yes, we can definitely grab the ball, Morty! Now! Muscle time! I get the ball! Now let's run away before this old lady throws her cursing by flawlessly. It's a <coughs> Victory moment. is ours! Fuck off, you old me, Grandpa, Grandma! Ah, you horrendous children! I hate you! Toodaloo, darling! Sorry, babe! No hard feelings, right? You all escape the house and run into the woods. The dodgeball is rescued! Thank you so much for rescuing me. The dodgeball whispers to you. It smells like soup in there. You're winning at summer! What a victory! Great work, Boner! Now that we got the ball back, you ready to settle this Can ball? you guys see my balls? Oh yeah, Good. Dahlia. <laughs> Let's do this. Let me take off my pants first. I want maximum flexibility. Holy shit! The dodgeball dude is awesome! Morty's exposed stick is awesome! <laughs> You're also blown away by this experience that this game gain. Too far, too fun, <laughs> and plus one spot. Zip, zip. Uh uh, I want more boldness again. The sub basement is full of haunted chairs and a staircase to the sub sub basement. The sub sub basement is a haunted wine cellar. The sub 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 basement is a haunted nightclub for ghosts who don't like wine. They serve haunted spirits. <laughs> the Shut sub basement up. to the tenth power is a subway. You eat a food. You eat a foot long Reuben and continue your travel. You eventually check a walk through and find out the haunted mine can only can spawn an infinite amount of sub bases. You only make it as far as the 89th level, which is a sub the Dom sub leather room. You get a two plus bold, boldness from the horrors you witness there. The you're wandering room. around the camp, hoping you'll bump into a bar. But on the creature. Oh yeah. Wee! Watch it fly. Uh-huh. Watch it fly. Yep, mm-hmm. Watching it. Sure goes into the air, just like all kites. Hey! Hey, Sasha, come over here and tell Ravi how cool this flying kite is. Uh, you don't know if you want to do that, because she clearly does. She doesn't think so, and you're not in the business of contradicting hot people. But just to get a more holistic sense of what's going on, you ask Ravi what's going on. Holistically. Uh, uh, to make our symbiotic relationship as adventurer and curse attached to that adventurer more tolerable, We've created a schedule where we alternate doing things we like. The adventure. So on some days, I get to do awesome stuff, like raiding dungeons and fighting trolls and delivering absurd objects to absurd people. Uh, snacks though? And then I, on some days. And then on some days, we get to chill at home, watching TV and pizza and chips and candy. And Hex likes to pick up different hobbies they see on TV then forget about them in a day or two. Hey, I do not! Then why do I have half-finished scarves, de decoupage, pot holders, friendship bracelets, 
and a taxidermied rabbit in my skeleton. Can we just fucking watch TV? I'm, I'm gonna finish all of those! I just haven't had time yet! Look some other junk food and watching TV! <laughs> Hex saw a kite flying on some dumb TV show and insisted we try it for their activity today. Unbelievable! So here I am, forced to endure the world's most boring hobby of throwing paper and string into the sky, or else I forfeit, forfeit my next dungeon crawl. A Ravi can't pull the plug on Hex's kite flying without some serious consequences. But you can't let a Ravi just be bored. That's so how love works. You have the answer. <laughs> I Ravi loves upgrading on again, and you gotta upgrade the kite by trying to play for it to That seems like smart or creativity. Enter the and conquer the scene of hardcore. <laughs> that seems like boldness or well, fun. Yeah, it can be fun. Oh god, I don't know. Oh god, because the thing is, if it isn't fun, then there's no, then it won't be able to beat the top one because I feel like the top one's smart. God, uh, okay, just do bottom, just do bottom. <laughs> It was boldness, but then that means the top one wasn't smart, so. Top one was creativity, man. Yippee. Hardcore, hyper-competitive kite flying? Uh, really? Kites are so cool, only if they're competitive. Prepare to die! Duh, stuff is only fun if I can crush someone else at it. Gives me a sense of superiority and tons of material for my therapy sessions. Uh, yeah, I bet. Sasha, let's go get down to business. Whoa, your adventure pal I need a material. training partner. Wanna grill in me? It's when you pose some degree of rivalry for a short period of training. I end up surpassing you easily, but then you can get some sort of climax by sacrificing yourself. Sure. Go into kite training. You learn all sorts of epic anime like techniques. The staple technique that you'll update every you'll update every now and then with a fairly similar upgraded version. I wonder what that could be a reference to. The forbidden technique that can kill you. You're promised to only use it in a life or death situation, but you always end up always using it. So much fun. And mm, no, that's all. Ninety percent of anime techniques and fall into those two categories. But enough training. You're not training anymore. And you're now in a legendary kite tournament. Yeah! We've done it, Sasha. All of our training has led to this. I feel we were preparing for this moment since forever. Huh. You have a very unique understanding of forever, girl. You're interrupted. Stop chatting, you weaklings. It's me, Buff Bert, the big buff rival who was super confident in himself when he was paired with a small adversary in the tournament. You are my first adversary, girl, and you're small. So I can, so you can bet I feel confident. Buff Bert! Then she wins. Boring! Can you skip to the end of this already? You do. It's the final already, somehow. And the Ravi is in it. Who could have guessed? I follow the path of the kite. Oh, oh a Ravi. Uh, I must admit, you've shown all of us kite fighters that you're one to respect. Even though you're totally new to the competitive kite scene. Your head will be mine. But this ends now, I'm afraid. Cobra Kite! Stop! I'm also a finalist. Everyone has perished under the fangs of the feats and technique of Cobra Kite. Ah! Who are these one-off characters? Also, I think whoever is organizing the tournament is super drunk. Most of it makes no zero sense. Sar! Yes, we meet again, Sar, my sworn rival. Today I put an end to your reign of kite terror. <laughs> kite terror? <laughs> Kyo! You could try, or we could join forces. Defeat is not an option. Double gas! That way we could first ensure a Ravi is up. Because in the most climatic moment when two people team up against one, they tend to win. <laughs> yeah, it's a foolproof plan. I'm smart that way. Shut up! It's not a big ah, deal! Shut up! I'm gonna beat your lore expo dumping asses! But Chio and Saf joining forces after a long sworn rivalry seems to hold up a lot of significance in the TV show, or game, or whatever dumb form of media they come from. So their alliance turns out to be very powerful, even for a Ravi! A Ravi is done for. Unless you two put aside the long ancient rivalry you two have held since, like, the very beginning of this outcome! Huh? Sasha and I, joining forces? Wow. You unlock the third type of anime-like technique. The dual technique. 
that can only be performed by former rivals joining forces. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> ha! I live by the kite. Uh, defeat is cruel, but it is acceptable when bested by such a formidable technique. Yes! I mean, I guess Sasha, you were pretty I great. asked you to Krillin me, and you just vegeted the whole situation. I admit I underestimated you. This is almost hot. Yeah! This is only the start. I will become the Kite Hokage or something. This is my new character arc. <sighs> Fuck my life. Ravi totally gets bored of this by the next day. But you're still getting plus two fun and plus one ball place. Let's trade places. Everyone choose a move. Stay your choice out loud to the other players before. <coughs> <laughs> that is a movie. Brokeback Mountain. Um, I'm gonna do like Power Pill. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, you can't really have powers, can you? Player order is just like the living with how to steer your neck to a fight. <laughs> you do know what broke my mind. <laughs> Where's broke my mind? Gay cowboys in the hills. You could do that, but I don't know how you do project power. With cardboard? Do you not know how to paint cardboard? No, but like, how are you gonna set yourself on? Are you gonna set yourself on fire? What? Have you cardboard, not seen Project dude. Power? Why would you set yourself on fire in an actual, like, media? You you know that actors aren't actually on fire, right? <laughs> you know that lighter didn't what? actually burn himself to death. Unreal, he didn't actually unreal, burn himself unreal. to death, Jack. I'm afraid it to say. It would be hard to reenact being gay. It would be embarrassing. <laughs> Hold on. Should I random it? Hold on. I'm gonna random it. Three, two, one. Uh, Alright. Lol. This dumb, there's, there's this weird website called Common Sense Media and it rated Three, Broke Band Three. Mountain. And it said this should be an age 17 plus. And then parents say 15 plus and kids say 14 plus. So clearly they're wrong. A mature, intense film about a forbidden gay relationship. Very yeah, well. Robbie. It's a potent combination of smell. String cheese, copper wires, and curse for weapon. That smell can only mean one thing. Hex calculus through an Aravian Hex device. in the house! Yo, Sasha. <laughs> you know, you know me. You know how me, Ravi, and Carl are gonna open a food truck once this camp is over. Uh, no. snacks though? Well, I wanna sell Oreo explosions. It's my own recipe where you grind up Oreos into a fine powder and snort that powder. Do you love it or do you super love it? Yeah. You won't hex our trademark. It's just change the name of this dish to dish the cookies and cream explosions. You also recommend you charge four hundred dollars. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I can't wait for all the gold I'm gonna mine from this food truck. No more grinding into cave levels to catch high value bugs for me. <sighs> I also think. Shut up, Jackson. Fine, should be reasonable investment. I also, I also, although, uh, 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 although, I am most excited about the chance to work so closely with organic food material. I'm really passionate about the process of digestion in general. I am so excited that people will literally consume calories that I help prepare. Care for it. So it's. As long as you're cooking everything with at least three different kinds of animal fat, I'm on board. Excited for our food truck. Shut up, Jack. Wonderful. Now that we've got some menu items decided upon, perhaps we should discuss the brand of the food truck. I'm not an expert myself, but... Ellipsis. Friend Milo did recently tell me that brands are entirely synonymous with relevancy, and any business without one is basically a leading corpse. End quotation. Perhaps we should think of a brand? Hmm... Yeah, we gotta figure out a brand for sure. How about with the world's most violent food truck? We could mount a Gatling gun on top and make customers dodge the bullets. Grizzly, but memorable. I'm Is sorry, I was. I'm. I'm just. I'm just reading these very in-depth, like ver thesis-length, um, uh, broke back mountain reviews. It is also probably a better idea than what I wrote down for a brand. 
Traveling vehicle with adequate food service. <laughs> you guys are both thinking too small. We should get Red Bull to sponsor us. <laughs> then we can fly everything in Red Bull and use the Cooper brand. Level up, loser. Fuck that shit. Red Bull blows. Gatling gun food truck. <laughs> I'm not backing down on this, Avari. I've coached you once and I'll do it again. We're doing Red Bull. <laughs> I believe that we should argue at a more reasonable volume level. You just screamed, Calculus. Wow, this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Looks like your friends need some help figuring out the perfect brand for their food truck. Hit them with the best content strategy. Always trust the data. My social media analysis reveals that the top three trendiest topics are pizza, Nutella, and cat videos. That's your brand. Food is overrated. Make the whole thing a potion bar. One life potion has more HP than 60, yeah. Play of the game! Whoa, that idea is a game changer. Game. Potions are the hottest loot. This point, about 80% of my meals are just potions. What did you say? <laughs> it's a game, full stop, changer, full stop. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, I love it. A potion bar. I'm improvising the, the limes, time. Jack. We design some trendy, sexy food like it. If, 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 I play like if I played Heisenberg, <laughs> I would have said all the lines very wackily, like Joker. Yes! Personally, I am just relieved we found a brand idea that we can all agree upon. Potion bar it is. By the way, is battery acid a potion? It's just the background acid. music for the night setting. Mm. Don't make it go too hard. Technically, yes. And you know what else is technically a potion? Melted butter mixed with vodka! Power up! Oh yeah, that's called a Russian penthouse tiger potion. It's actually a really good to drink before fighting a poison-based enemy. I like how Ravi's voice lines always peak. Oh. Oh, and that reminds me. We should serve devil goblets. It's a potion made by boiling the stomachs of freshly slaughtered monsters. We should serve them with paper umbrellas. Umbrellas. God, I remember getting so fucked up on devil goblets when I turned 21. I had a defense buff going for weeks after. <gasps> Aravi! You seem to know more information about potions than the entire internet. You are so knowledgeable! Exclamation mark. <sighs> she really is. Jasmine, that's one of her most annoying qualities. But whatever we do, we have to sell my favorite potion. Warm stamina potion. That sounds like an appropriate menu item. What ingredients shall we need to brew it? Can we expect a reasonable market to cost ratio? Oh, it's easy. We just gotta get the certain kind of dark brown bean. And you roast the bean, grind it up, and slowly pour hot wa water over the beans through a filter. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, Rafi, isn't that just, like, coffee? Like, you're just, just describing a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it is kind of, it kind of is just coffee. It's way more badass to call it a warm stand than a person. You got hexed. You know what? You're right. At our food truck, we will only refer, we will refer to it as only as a warm stand than Fuck society! They got a deal with it! Fuck yeah! Nah. Fuck yeah. Potion bar food truck is officially the best idea in all history. So kind of amazing that Sasha came up with it. So, uh, thanks. <laughs> Ravi's so pleased with you that she brings you one of her favorites. The mountain sexual attention with a baby carriage of the Hot! So close nice. to sleep time? So it's so far. It's so far. Have a little joy with Ravi and Dr. Milo. You're pretty sure you've never seen Joy Gollum before. It's kind of just unsettling. Uh. <laughs> um, I am not groveling. I'm posing a dignified query to my love that just so happens to be performed on my hands and knees. Duty calls. Anyway, Milo, please help me out here. I'm in the middle of a quick summer adventure that is just important enough to justify a full episode of. I really need to consult my dead ally, Rabaru. She's the only one who knows how to solve univertic 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 <laughs> Bitches, eight thighs. Can you just raise her spirit? And... I've got a gig. I'm sorry, Joy. I would really love to help with whatever you say. But I'm terribly busy right now with an important review business. Typical. Really? Because it looks to me you're just browsing Etsy for a new cloak. Which is important business. My uniform must be somber yet trendy. 
I can't afford to go out of fashion. I'd lose all my credibility. Let's save the world. But the fate of monster kind depends on taking down Univetica. Fucking bitch. Univetica. I really need your help, Milo. Don't you want to save the world? Hmm. Is taking down this Univertica really equivalent to saving the world, though? I mean, everyone can make a difference, no matter how small their actions are. <gasps> but just look at everything Univertica has already destroyed. At least two urban outfitters have all have been demolished by her nefarious plans. And she has her, set her sights on flattening the Smoothie King on third street. Milo, signing off. Hmm. Well, I've always been more of a Jabba Juice person myself, so I think I'll pass. Damn. She always fighting me about her again. This season, the cover must be slow. <laughs> Clearly, one of your friends didn't look like to me. And it just so happens to be the one you're trying to bow. He's just setting his spirit. Hold on. <laughs> Ooh, Bowner makes a good point. I didn't know you condoned playing the friend card with free labor joy. <laughs> Oh yeah, fuck. Uh, what? No, I don't. I may be the leader, but me faith and hope each equally split up the rewards we receive for our world-saving coven work. See, I hear you, but actions speak louder than words. Unless you don't value my help as much as you value the other witches. <sighs> no, not at all. Your work is totally just as valid and important as theirs. It's just that I'm um, figured the whole repayment of saving the world would be. Ah. <sighs> uh. But saving the world doesn't put all the cut of toast on the table. We indie seances and necromancers need to pay our rent too, you know? My goddess. Oh, fine. You got me. I'll become a patron. That's five dollars a month, sounds. Well, of course. I'll be grateful for whatever you pay, darling. But five dollars will only get you the bronze tier. Hashtag slay. Bronze tier patrons get early access to my selfies and a much as But my platinum patrons get a chance at a full of spirit raising once a month and a limited edition Milo sweat bag. Ah! Oh, fine! Here's the pledge money. Can you raise Rabaru now? Oh, did you read the terms of the I can only do so many seances. Time is ready. So I limited three spirit consultants. Consultations for three patrons chosen to bed. <laughs> and those are these ones when I are Milo Crackhead 45. X underscore ghost fetishist underscore X and Joey Johnson Joey Hima. No way. That's Joey Johnson Joey Gino Johnson dash Joey. My bad. The world is at risk again. What? No fair. The world is at stake here and I'm your friend. Can you make an exception for me? When life closes one door, another that, opens. Well, that wouldn't be very fair, would it? All of my followers are my friends. I can't play favorites just because your seance will prevent countless deaths. You will get this show cancelled. Oh, whatever. This has been a waste of my time. I'll just bribe Polly with some distilled spirits to talk to Rabaru for me. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> well, it's just you and me, Bona Oh, and X underscore hmm. ghost fetishes and underscore X spirits from what's great. What can I do for you, my <gasps> Oh. Looks like he wants the ghost of a leather daddy dog from 1865. I, I don't know. Uh, you're quite comfortable doing it. Never stop being you. You know, Bona, since that slot is open, perhaps you'd like me to raise a spirit for you. I don't mind bending your knees for someone such as yourself. That's nice. such a bastard. You request the spirit of Marquis de La Lafayette. 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 Fuck! It's literally in Hamilton. I am watching this show, though. Yeah, but you listen to all of the tracks. You know you know more about the track. You literally know the track's lyrics more than me, and I've actually watched it. Ow, it's wonderful, cool. magical Latino cat. You new here? Don't fret. Let me tell you how this works. I will prepare you a drink. The drink of the day. You may choose to drink that one. But if you're not interested, you're lucky. There's a mystery box with a second option. It could be better. It could be worse. But one thing is for sure, it will be... Mysterious. And he says, look, choose whatever you want, but I'm never responsible for what you put in your mouth. I'm a wizard in training for you to test my concoction to somewhere between that kind and reckless. So get ready and good luck. What do you say? Will you taste the drink of the day? 
would you prefer the mystery box? Hmm, what, what do you think that means? No, what like, do you think the- Try to get money. Or just, I guess we'll take money. I'm scared money. what it'll do to my stats, though. I imagine it can only increase them. Uh, I'll take the bargain, then. God, I'm scared. Yeah, no, I was totally testing your common sense. And you passed! Your prize is the drink you took. <laughs> Quite appealing, right? I don't know if I drink that, but the question is, where are you? I also have this mystery box, because at this point, who knows? Hmm. <laughs> Sex on the beach is probably charm. It is, yeah. I imagine Milo would want or charm. Or fun. But this could be, I imagine this is like an item that could give you a secret ending or something. No, it's completely random what's in there. Yeah, it's pretty like the, uh, the gift that keeps on giving, right? No, it can, yeah, no, it could just be any of the other drinks. Just yeah, that's only our sense of common sense. You bad! There's literally a drink that doesn't do anything but removes your name from the game. Ah, a sex on the beach. I bought this drink to the next level, as you can see. Give it a try. I assure you it'll be a fun ride. Drinks. Holy mother of God! Holy mother of God! Ah, the bargain. Thanks to this great potion I prepared. Now you'll receive everything at a discount. Not sure if that's a good or bad thing, really. <laughs> Happy to stomach that! Happy trail! <laughs> She's an animal. Oh fuck, don't look at that. I'm not. Hmm. Uh, cat. <sighs> Crap. Oh. How plausible it would be for you to convince a pack of those animals to make you go fuck with. I don't think cat would ever. I don't think either of them. I don't know, I just feel like it'd be just I mean, crabs eat their children, so they don't like packs, and cats are just assholes. Hmm, no way. Who are narcissists. <laughs> we're, we're pretty bad at these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still do. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, <laughs> I have too much fun, anyway. <laughs> that day, Thumbwords. That means the, camp so the campers are waging war against the thumb warriors. That supernaturally buff thumb monsters who can't camp thumb. It's surprisingly terrifying. <laughs> you were all sure to lose, but thanks to your quick thinking, you had your plan to fight the thumb warriors with their greatest weakness. <laughs> Fuck. Predators without opposable thumbs! Some may say that your team is sick in your pants and their mouth and lines on the camp the competitors are cheating. But you prefer the term strategic, game plus two charm. <laughs> Afterwards, you end up vibing with Myla. You're, you're showing a hammock. I have come. Cuddle up closer to one another. You're both checking your phones. Hell yeah. What could be more emotionally intimate than quietly scrolling right beside your number one summer crap? Suddenly, Milo's phone starts blowing up. Granted, Milo's phone is always blowing up. But right now, it's what's Hey, you. darling. No need to look so jealous, dude. Just a word text. I keep telling the head office not to contact me while I'm taking a staycation. But I suppose this briefing is urgent. <sighs> la la la, another day, another day. Oh my, oh my god. Um. This is a little awkward, isn't it? Um, well, not awkward for you because you don't know yet. And I shouldn't tell you. But I can't resist a little gossip. Listen, though. I don't usually disclose propriet proprietary information, but I just got a, next, a gig for next week. To collect your soul. Huh? Milo's gonna read your soul. That sounds super terrifying and also a little bit hot. You ask Milo if this means you're gonna die. <sighs> Short answer? Yep. You're totally gonna die. Long answer. Life, death, and fate. Life, death, and fate are weird and messy. And it's also hard to say 100% because of quantum nonsense. But if I'm getting the gig, then yeah, you're going to die. Congrats. Holy shit. This is the most awkward news you've ever been received while hanging out on a lounge. Or lounging on a hammock. You start to freak out. <laughs> no, Bono, don't freak out. I'm an expert, and I promise you, it's not as scary as it seems. Death reminds us of the profound, infinite beauty of life. And realistically, it's not like you're immortal or anything. Sorry to burst your bubble, bubble but death was gonna find you eventually, boo. TVQH, I'm actually doing you a huge favor by letting you know ahead of time. It's my gift to you, the opportunity to go out. This and is the first day of the rest of your life. Let's make this last week of your life the best week of your life. 
we'll spend every moment together, and we'll end, we'll end up a huge party. A celebration of boner! <laughs> the whole week of my life. That sounds like heaven, and is exciting enough to distract you from your imminent death. You're right. Aesthetics on point! Mm, lovely. God, you're gonna get so many posthumous followers. I'm almost jealous. Oh, and we should start considering the party aesthetic right now. We need some big, memorable, we need some big, memorable main event at the party. Something that'll honor your true essence, Bone. And it sh and obviously it should be a Snapchat friendly. Any idea? You would have a shy. Quick, what's the perfect way to one, entertain your party guests? Two, commemorate your entire existence and three, press my life. You elaborate the epic tale of your life with a pro profound, carnal meaning of interpreting games. You'll have your friends give toasts in your honor. It'll be emotionally moving and we'll get shit faced. Ooh, both of these could be like fun. No, I think top one's creativity and bottom one's fun. Oh, oh, that could have gone terribly. Aw, oh, that's perfect. But it didn't. It'll be like celebrating your life by intertwining it with the lives of other people you've loved. I had no idea you were so profound, Bona. But if I know if I know anything about drunken party towers, we're going to need to put your approval on these people. We've got no choice but to conduct a rehearsal immediately. You spend the afternoon getting all your friends together and breaking the big news. You're dying next week. Shocking, they seem to be a You humbly request that they give, deliver a toast for you at the party. And just to be safe, you write Hello, to darlings. Alright, lovely people. Welcome to the rehearsal of Boner's elegant end of life blowout bash. Let's proceed with the heartfelt mm -hmm. elegies. Oh my you god. Please. I can't believe that Boner is dying. I'm like totally sad about it. Wow! <laughs> but honestly, being tan totally isn't even a thing. Go have a fun. My favorite memory of Boner is when uh, he saved a sp school bus full of orphans falling into a pit of lava using only his mega thick ass. To work, feet. to work, to work! Damn! Anyway, that's <laughs> for whatever, Boner! And then we for Boner's butt. No cheeks This honest. cannot be for real. Okay, am I the only person who's kind of weirded out that Boner is apparently dying this week? No, just me. Cool. Anyway, Boner was apparently the most emotionally intelligent, thoughtful, and woke friend I ever had. Here's to you. Nice try. Psst. Boner, you don't think people will actually fall for this, do you? Make some space, yeah. Dahlia! Gather one and all. I shall now read aloud a speech commemorating Boner. It is a speech that I definitely wrote myself. <sighs> Besides me, Bonner was the greatest warrior of all. Time, of all time, fuck! His legacy shall be written in the stars next to Hercules and Orient. I drink in his honor. Every moment is beautiful. What incredible toasts, everyone. I think it's quite clear that Bonner touched so many lives, including mine. Here's one last rehearsal toast from yours truly. Bonner is a silly goose. We're all aware of that. But we must remember that these geese are some of the most beautiful and cutest birds in the whole world. Never stop being you. I thought I knew what when to really fall in love with life, but watching Boner's constant, elegant failures taught me that you taught me that lesson all over again. Cheers, Ben. <laughs> that went shockingly well. You all spent the rest of the day getting drunk with the, your friends to practice your from your party. All of that tomfoolery earns you plus three creativity. New day, new adventure. I'm gonna go and kill someone and fucking hide their body. Where are you gonna hide uh, it? Uh, hmm. Where am I gonna hide it, actually? Hmm. I'm gonna hide it in the haunted manor again. While exploring the haunted manor, you find an enchanted skull who speaks in riddles. His voice makes your ears break. You decide to name him Sparky and put him on your keychain as a fun pet. He tells you all sorts of things like, Beware of the tides of Venus! And, If you meet a guy named Kenny and Lo Lenny at Costco, don't give him $20. Sparky also tells you exactly when and how you'll die. And apparently it's going to call it, involve a lot of mozzarella sticks. Dude, I love mozzarella sticks. What? Milo Wait, actually, what the fuck? I'm enjoying watering, wandering. The one nine nine? Are you kidding me? Milo is live streaming it because apparently that's the only way they know how to enjoy anything. Welcome to another video with Milo Belladonna. Milo? Mm-hmm. 
Is this haunted room stretching? Or is it just your imagination? Wild Robbie appeared. Oh, hey, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> Making Disney references. My analytics show that millennials love engaging with nostalgic, nostalgic content because the present is constantly horrifying. How about you, HBU? I was looting the rooms for treasure when I found this strange rectangular prize. Enough signal to process this. <sighs> Sensors detect ancient technology, a video home system, or VHS. Insert cassette here to see images. Calculus the points to a VHS player, located distressingly close to the Squatch region. <laughs> if we want, she decides to not be a creep and I'd like to put the tape in a nearby 92 video. Greetings, customers and curse enthusiasts. Thank you for turning in for tuning into Pazzo's Pizza New Pizza's newest, fastest, freshest guerrilla marketing campaign. We've seen how much fo our focus group loves this newfangled internet. And we're no strangers to young hip new fans. Love. Get ready to pizza you like it. Pizza party like it. So do I. Enjoy Pazzo's Pizza and today. Remember, if you don't tip, I will be back in seven days to murder you. That's Raven's voice acting. Ring? Dude, uh, that's the ring. Messy uh, meeting you guys here. Can someone order a pizza or something? Hashtag fail. Absolutely not. Moreover, now my live stream is bound to get stricken down for the copyright music you used in that shoddy commercial. I can't believe I'm going to use perfectly, lose perfectly good clout for the, to end sync for all of I'm all not people. paid enough for this. Hey, don't care about me, dude. Pizza has, Puzzles hasn't used this whole curse with spam marketing stuff since 2005. If you haven't played the dumb tape, I would be home. Oh dear. Oh gosh. Oh no. My apologies, partner pizza girl. Did you say cursed with spam? Should we be bracing ourselves for an incoming can to meet assault? <sighs> uh, no. At least that would be funny. What we've got here is a totally lame advertisement curse. Purses! Now in seven days' time, we'll be subjected to nothing but Pazzo's ads until we eat ourselves sick with their pizza. Fucking Pazzo's taking all the art out of good cursing. Ugh. That's stupid. As a future food truck owner, I disagree with dooming customers to only consume advertisements for, for my food, especially now that it's happening to me. Yes, Sir Robbie. As a present influencer, this has literally been my waking nightmare. I don't even know which I hate more, in invasive advertisements or pizza. <gasps> If I can't shake this curse, my Instagram feed will be nothing but will be filled with nothing but disgusting imitations of Italian cuisine. My reputation will be in shambles. I, I, I think I'm going to. I'm about to oh no, partner Milo, you appear to have fainted. Please regain consciousness immediately. <laughs> buy a hot pizza now. Hot pizza now. Convince ten of your friends to buy a pizza, or we'll murder your family. No, the curse is already settling in. You need to fix this before you end up like that pizza girl. Or worse, you become too obsessed with pizza to focus on boinking your friends. No! Escape from the pizza's, pizza's reach by practicing deep meditation until you transcend the more material plane. The pizza brand is annoying, but Milo is also a brand. Fight fire with fire by out spamming them with tons of delicious Milo spam. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Cause... Why are you indicating the top one? <laughs> you should pick this word. What is it? What do you think it well, is? Because this one is Milo. Yeah, but this isn't a pick a person. The material one. plane? This isn't a pick a person one. Okay. This is a stats. That sounds like fun, bro. Sounds like the material plane. Also, what the fuck? Why, why would they do that to my boldness? Why would they do that to my boldness? <laughs> Look at it! Spot. Yeah, this could be. Spot. It'll never be a whole number again. This could be unless you get point one boldness. This could be smart there. <laughs> or um. All right. Thing. All right. Oh, to go, talk to your friends into not to freaking out anymore and doing some meditation together. You calmly take a seat, folding your legs over top of each other like an awakened guru. You pry open your third eye. You mentally release all of your material possessions. You don't need your Daki Mura collections. You don't need your Daki Mura collection. Or your emergency popcorn maker. Or your tent anymore. Well, you might still need your tent unless you want to sleep in the lake tonight. But no tiki backsies! And after spiraling through a trippy vaporwave like se sequence, you find yourself above the material. <sighs> Whoa! This is crazy! 
Uh, I don't feel the urge to eat a pizza. Or spend Navari's gold on wish it all. Indeed, since a nearby guru, who shimmers with the inner peace of someone who has never had of an iPhone. Releasing oneself from spam ads and pizza are the two main reasons why people meditate off. Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound true, but I don't know enough about Im immaterialism, immaterialism to dispute it. It's honestly a miracle I'm even here. It is also an indisputable anomaly that I am here as well, given the, that I am a literal material object. My servers are positively jammed with questions that I fear will have no answers. Let's adventure together! Meh. I spawn into new areas all the time. This isn't anything new. Let's just roll with it and do some sightseeing. You and your friends. Oh, fire. Kill ya. Oh, touristing around the spiritual plane. He visits some shrines and do a ton of trippy drugs. And the best part is, there are no shitty gift shops. By the time you've returned, <laughs> you're not, you, you, not even the most salicious, salacious ad for a five-star steakhouse can tempt you. Getting plus 999 enlightenment. Which here translates it to plus 99 charm, 199 charm, and plus 9099 fun. You're getting fucked. What the fuck? Oh, it's because you receive everything at a discount. No! Everybody chooses a song. No! I'm going to choose oh, pressure. Oh, no! Oh, no! No! I don't like it! I'm going to choose pressure. Then look, I'm going to choose pressure by Billy Joel. Wait, what? What? I'm going um, to choose a song. Um, let me just randomize it on Spotify. Oh wait, no, Farting Around by Kevin McLean. We're doing some hanky panky. Yeah. Farting Around by Kevin McLean. Wait, what, what the fuck did you just do? You're Probably fine. the snake kit. <laughs> just in case. What was the thing? While doing some hanky panky, would you like to hear it? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Kevin McLean. Um. Jesus fucking Christ, my stats are ruined. The audio didn't really, the audio didn't my stats are, my stats are actually so Maybe you'll get zero zero one bomb this. <laughs> maybe, maybe 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 Fuck you. Um uh what does each place do again? Let me let me see, let me see. Could I go to the lake? No. The Damn! Fuck? <laughs> fucking hell! Jack to sees to a woman in swimsuit. Boobie wee 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 wee! Stuff to bring. Most of the beachgoers leave, but no! You will enjoy a fun lake day, damn it! You had a really rough morning! You wouldn't let anything else stop you from getting fun. You aggressively splash in the lake and laugh for as loudly as you can, hoping the clouds will give up on trying to ruin your day. Instead, the lake gets struck by lightning! When you wake up from the electrocution coma, you're on the The sun is shining, and you have a cool new facial pitch. You gain fun. You win! You gain plus 199 fun. No! Just give me my damn fun! After surviving that, you meet up with a Robbie to check out his new dungeon which has been telling you about. A three hour hike and several side quests later, you're finally there. But something Unbelievable! What in tarnation? All the loot's been hung on clothes hangers and arranged in shops. And where's my hype battle music? This is just bloodless covers of 90s soft rock hits. A troll leaps out from behind a lake fern! Oh no. Prepare for a red big counter to roll a la 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 <laughs> Now that's more like it. Let's go! With flavor! He continues, displaying a tray of piping hot cinnamon pretzel bites. Try pretzel prison. Located on floor 2B. Level up, loser! Come on, this is dumber than. This is dumber. This is dumber than specking into the fence for a solo DPS. <laughs> I don't know, Robbie. These pretzel bites are pretty new. I say we hear them out. Uh, pretzel bites aren't saying anything. They were, at least that would be interesting. Ugh, who ruined this dungeon? I think you mean who significantly increased the property value of this dungeon. My little money bundle. Mr. Poppers. The name's Mr. Poppers. CEO. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm the one responsible for turning this little, this literal hole in the ground into a prime investment opportunity. Dungeons are terrible business. They don't charge admission. They carry enormous legal liability, and adventurers are always counting off the merchandise for free. Next time, I won't have uh, any whatever. mercy. The only business that belongs in a dungeon is the none of yours kind. 
Come on, Tex, let's go back. Oh, this will be a shopping mall. That's right. Don't you mean, let's go back to mall? That's right. I purchased Cap Spooky and I'm turning it into another shopping mall. Huh? What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> After all that, there's employees at this shopping mall need somewhere to shop, don't you agree? <laughs> you villain! I'll show you how the real adventure of shops by stabbing you and taking your organs! Because that's how I get most of my loot. You puny kids! You fool! You think mortal weapons can harm me? I have six guys on retainer whose job it is to get stabbed on my back. You have to do something better than that. Damn, he's right. I can't beat him alone. I need to form some kind of anti capitalist adventuring party. But the Robbie's got no idea where to start. And Hex is too busy watching reruns of Wife Swap to contribute. It's up to you to suggest the perfect team up. Small business owners hate big businesses. Gather local entrepreneurs to, to form a small business mecca. Seek out the powerful and secretive order of e commerce. It is said that no shopping mall can stand against. Hmm. I don't know. John, what do you think? I feel like the top one might be Tom. Yeah. So I don't know. should go with this one, I think. Um, what do you think it is? It should be smarts. But mm, this could be yeah, smarts as well. That could be boldness as well. It's up to you, Okay, just do the bold one. This is impossible! The order of e-commerce? But they're nothing but a myth! Everyone knows e-commerce is totally disordered! <laughs> nah, you can believe it up. I saw it on an episode of WOW! Real Conspiracies! I just have no idea how to actively contact them. Well, that's easy. You ask a if she's ever read the end of an e- of an e-news uh, What? No, are you crazy? Those things are so long and boring. Only a fool would dare to read them. That's what they want you to think, you tell her. You whip out your phone and show her the latest email from the business networking for restaurants, supply enthusiasts, and mailing. <sighs> no, I can't. I won't. Fine, I'll do it. I watched all of the real house paint drying in Beverly Hills. This can't be any worse than that. Here for it. Wait, unholy shit! Halfway through, it stops being a networking email and turns into a weird secret society induction email. It's even got an address. Let's go! A uh, one long flight to West Internet, Pennsylvania later. Uh, all right, we're here in this dark, dank warehouse, just like the email said, but I don't see any e-commerce. Are you sure we're welcome, mortal? This is gonna be like, is this gonna be Dimitri or something? This is a voice from the darkness to the house of e-commerce. Forgive the darkness. We stopped using light to cut electricity costs. It's cheaper than to let our warehouse employee bump into walls every now and then. Oh, great Sean, Sions of online retail. We have come to ask. Yes, yes, we know all about you, Robert. We have access to your entire search history. We'll happily dispose of that troublesome CEO for you. All you have to do is sign the terms and conditions. We are totally winning our lane. That's it. Hell, I sign shit without looking at it all the time. Sweet deal. Over it. Why am I so cursed all the time, Hex? Help me. A cursed demon stole my blood again. And it's totally not my fault. Girl, you're helpless. Whatever, it totally works. The Lords of E-Commerce destroyed the CEO's vile business with two precision targeted ads. One for a sign poster for Space Jam, and another for some limited edition Danny DeVito underwear. Little did Aravi know that the contract she signed would be the start of her greatest development. But that's a story for another video game. In this one, you get plus 199 smarts and 099 gear to be a place where I can just. No, Sean time. It's While you're trying to catch, hiding to catch a breath, a, sa a severed fist flies through the air and lands in your lap. It was folded. The fist was holding a tarnished silver locket containing the photo of a loved one, likely waiting for the hands former over to return home safely. You toss that behind you in front of company for unredeemable for plus two charm at Pedro's pastrami paradise. Red! Thanks, mysterious hand. Since you're dying next week, Milo has been- Oh, secret ending! Since you're dying next week, Milo has been helping you live your last days to the fullest. Currently, the two of you are getting a super fancy pedicure, where a little fish eat the dead skin off your feet. It feels amazing, and it's hella it's hella eyes. Milo right. Belladonna, here uh, at last. That really is the spot. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Fish give better pedicures than people. <laughs> and I need some R and R. 
This non-stop life celebrating with you has been all consuming. But honestly, I can't remember the last time I had so much fun. Milo looks at you with such bedroom eyes. Your heart starts to race at such a tender moment. While we're enjoying this tender moment, I thought we could talk deets for your end of life bash. I've been really immersing myself in the preparations, Bona. This might be some of the finest party planning work of my career. <sighs> First off, the venue is insane. I got my boss to let me borrow her interdimensional penthouse. The ceiling is made of diamonds, and the bodyguards are literally four dimensional. <laughs> We're gonna do this huge dramatic entrance for you, where you burst out of a coffin. Cute, right? And the coffin outfit is the perfect amount of slutty. <sighs> oh, and you're not gonna believe the guest list. All the basics, sure. But we have some huge guests on here. I did not realize you had this kind of pull, darling. Keep it on the ZL. We've got several prominent ghosts coming, both Edison and Tesla, so things should get interesting. But still, I feel like someone's missing. I think we need a big, mind-blowing VIP guest surprise. Magnificent. Someone who can show up halfway through the party uninvited and have a poetic final embrace with you. A real moment, you know. Does anyone come to mind? Maybe a long-lost twin from whom you were separated at birth and have never actually met? Marlo's right. You definitely need a kick-ass guest for your party. And you don't have any, any, any long-lost twins that you know about. But you do know the perfect VIP team fight. Hmm. Fuck, um... Hmm. The, ups the upstretch Trarian, who was there for your birth, he ushered you into this world, and now he'll usher you out. This party is all about you, so summon an alternate version of alternate versions of yourself from another timeline. It'll be poetic and awesome. It's like when Beyonce looks in the Is room. that smart or fun? I don't know. Huh. Nah, I feel like the top one might be smart. It could be smart. Um... It seems... I mean, it's just party. Yeah. And Probably. awesome. Mm. I feel like it's fun. Also, I heard that oh. iPhone, huh? Oh yeah, mm, my mom Stretching shit up. Bro, my mum literally texts me, you okay, XX, shut up. <laughs> I can even send you the, the fucking photo of it, for it. Anyway, I'm gonna choose- I don't want that <laughs> Excuse me? You're an obstetrician? Are you close or something? <laughs> Milo's doubtful, but you stand firm. You whip out your phone and call him Dr. John, the obstetrician who birthed you. Well, of course, I'll be the special guest of your party, Bona. In fact, I'll come discuss the details with you right now. That's how important you are to me. Within a few moments, you hear the whirring of a helicopter overhead. A fancy-looking man drops down for the helicopter. It's your, it's your obstetrician, <gasps> Dr. John! Oh my god, is that Elton John? Dear god, Boner, your obstetrician is Dr. Elton John? Why didn't you say that earlier? I'm so excited you made me slightly raise my voice. That hasn't happened to me in like two decades. Ah, oh, you must be Milo, Boner's beloved reaper. Yes, it's me, Dr. Elton John. Cheerio! I was knighted, so my full title is do technically Sir Dr. Elton John. Hello, darling. It's a pleasure. Big fan, Obvi. I'm sure you're wondering about the deep, meaningful connection between me and Bona. Let me tell you the tale. You see, I used to be a well-renowned obstetrician, but the birth of Bona changed my life forever. As I watched Bona's mother suffer through a 52-hour labor, I was struck with the profound beauty of all living things. It was such a meaningful, poetic birth that I was inspired to leave my medical career behind but become a musician. The way all of my success, my five Grammy Awards and my two Oscars, and of course, my beloved Disney Legends Award are all thanks to me. You're trending, darling. That makes perfect sense. You know, now that I think about it, I can see the essence of Bona and the, as the underlying fabric of all your songs. Exactly. And that's why I'm honored to be your special party VIP. I'll even waive my appearance fees. Now, what say the three of us go take my chopper for a joy ride? Life is short after all. You and Milo go for a hop the helicopter ride with motherfucking Sir Dr. Elton John. Milo is super impressed. That is, this is the best day of your life, he's here. And you've still got plenty of quality time with Milo before you go. You get plus three charm, and a very mature heart look at your own mortality. Please stop fucking playing the fart noise. Um, it's farting Elton around John. like Evan McClure. Elton John. 
You mean Sir Dr. Elton? Oh, Sir Dr. Elton. Um, uh, uh, Nick Cage. <laughs> Elton John and Nick Cage. I don't know. George Ryan. Sure. Marshmallows, anyone? A Robbie. Find a Robbie scrambling and hedges the other. Damien is speaking, not someone can speak to say yet, her from behind a big rock that's right next to us. Damien, stop trying to peek. I told you to go away. You need to learn from the pros. How do you know I'm here? I can't see you. That means you can't see me either. I'm invisible. Mm. Do you not understand object permanence or something? Mm -hmm. Object what? Sounds like nerd shit. I can just read your fucking notes, so can I just read your fucking notebook? I don't want to talk about my feelings! I said no, it's private. But you let Hex read it. Mm. I do not let Hex do anything. Hex wreaks chaos wherever they see fit, and I just kind of have to roll with Get it. Get cursed. Right you are, girl. Speaking of which, I'm going. Seems like a good time for an unhappy, embarrassing accident curse. And just then, a totally unrelated gust of wind blows through and rips the notebook out of Aravi's hands. It falls upon the open ground. Revealing a bunch of doodles of a buff, leather, chat clad girl stabbing a wimpy looking red huh? Are these plans to murder me? You said this was your therapy journal. Uh, it is. I find these drawings to be very therapeutic. But they aren't murder plans. That they're, they're ancient hieroglyphics that I've been studying. Hex, tell him. Huh. Sorry, I zoned out. Did Damien see the murder plans yet? Uh. I said they weren't murder plans. Everybody leave me alone. Ravi could easily deny this for fucking ever. She has, a, she has advantage on perception checks. We need to settle this argument. Are they murder plans or not? Hex, I'll give you my last everything, baby. If he does, blah, 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 No, Damon. Not little murder doing red. Look, I've actually had a murder number dedicated to Ravi. Uh... I don't know. I don't know! God, I don't want to screw it up. Which one do you think is correct? This one. Okay, yeah. Okay. Y you do? You really want to murder me? I don't know what to say. No way! Violence and murderous intent is my and Aravi's thing! <laughs> Ooh, I smell a murder triangle! This is better than The Bachelor! <laughs> Without your arriving medal, she pages through it slowly, her eyes sparkling. Oh, ho, what a fierce adversary! Ah, this is so detailed. You correctly listed all of the poisons I'm weak to, my favorite romantic locales to be ca caught on unarmed and unaware. <laughs> You've even drawn a cute chibi out of us, knife biting each other. You must really care a lot about murdering me. Hmm. Hmm. So? Sasha is over, way overthinking her approach. <laughs> Down and out, we just meet up for a night, put a bullet in each other's heads, and ghost each other. Literally, because we're dead. You are unworthy. Have you no honor? Clearly, Sasha is a respectful assassin. Unlike you. Such big stats. He knows how important it is to Whoa. use proper protection when murdering, and at least has the decency to get to know me before putting yeah! it on. <laughs> I'd like to see you put your money where your mouth is, Sasha. That yeah, can murder me. You can surely try. She cancels and runs off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> some attacks. You can't believe you just got murder consent from a Ravi. That's that's the most consent she's ever given you. Score. Sitting. My favorite activity. Uh, with Milo and Find Milo and how she left enough wine to bleed Ravi's drive. Right. Which is off. You know oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. When it gets to night time and it's, um, if someone's playing Modius and it's Modius' time, She'll say, the time has come, and so have I. <laughs> Welcome to a new day with Milo Belladonna. I'll play, I'll play Modius next time we play. Ah, uh, I have to say that I think the natural Christmas of the Pinot Grigio Pinot Grigio. Pino Grigio. It's an alcoholic yet. The serious, smoky undertones are undoubtedly the perfect complement to a burnt weenie. 
What are your thoughts, Calculus mm, Designer? Mm. I think that a nice box of red wine is exactly what I need to relax after an exhausting PT8 meeting and a thoroughly unsatisfying lovemaking session Look at his with face. my husband, Greg. <sighs> what on earth are you talking about? Is this what people call camping? Oh, sorry. What's my meaning? Oh my now? god, no! Perhaps this minion meeting, <laughs> this minion meeting will suffice enough to explain my thoughts. Look, it says I, I whine because my I whine because my kids whine. What a cliff it didn't find. Mm -mm. Where are you getting your Somalia information? Somalia. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I fear that you are right, friend Milo. But I have no test buds, and so I must resort test? to test. I have no taste buds. So I have resorted to Google and I search in I love wine in order to formulate my critique. Critique. Uh, but I did wish to participate somehow. It seems that the bitter tastes of wine and divorce are integral to the organic experience. How can I be a part of it? Marry someone and divorce them. Question. Truly, how can a wholesome computer boy during a wine, st a wine tasting? Wine tasting is about taste. It's wine tasting is about taste. It's about drama. Fuck! How does the wine make you reflect on the fleeting flavor, joy, flavor for joys of life? Uh, it's okay, yeah, nobody actually drinks wine. Every moment is beautiful. A brilliant point, boy. It's true. Wine is the backdrop for so many beautiful life events and life-ending events. I've witnessed countless lovers confessing their feelings over Meduc. Friends toasting their good fortunes with a nice pre-dinner risling. <laughs> So many unforgettable kings poisoned with a bit of belladonna slipped into their port. Such a flair for the dramatic. Yes, calculus the darling. This is the heart of the event the matter. It's not about the wine's flavour, it's about the feelings it makes you feel. Mm -hmm. Like inspired or poisoned. Not enough memory to process this. Okay, I feel confused. Okay, I feel suicidal. Mm. Good, good. Here, this Molot is an old faith oh to my. mine. It pairs perfectly with perplexity. Hmm. You need to learn how to pronounce alcoholic drink names. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Are you emailing a pipe bomb to my house? <laughs> yes, and this as well. What as well? Okay, um. oh. I hate Google Translate. I'm trying to make what are you doing? It's Merlot. It's, it's Merlot. It's not pronounced Merlot. It's Merlot. 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 It's Merlot. Merlot. It's Merlot. Marlo. That's dumb as shit. Oh, okay. I think I understand. Oh, oh, is your name that oh, well, then? Oh, I don't right. understand. That's so funny! <laughs> okay, I think I understand. Or rather, I don't understand. But perhaps that is the objective. Every Do you want me to copyright you? Quite alright, darling. And for you, Mona, I have delightful press code. It's bubbly and perceptive, just like you. My love looks You hope it's flirtatious. And not because they poisoned your wine. Guess you'll find out in a few minutes. Bring out your flasks! That weekend, you visit your good old pal Juan. He knows a thing or two about getting you wasted. Bueno, bueno. Look who's here. I was just experimenting with these drinks here. I was about to throw them away, but I have a feeling you're reckless enough to give them a try, right? The full moon. Quite appealing, right? I don't know if I drink that, but the question is, will you? Will you? I also have some mystery box, because at this point, who knows what you do? I mean, that's true. Honestly, who knows either way. Um, the full moon looks nice, but I don't know. I'll take the full moon. Yeah, that's only a dumb. No idea if I got the recipe right. Wanna try it? <laughs> Otherwise, you always have that recipe. I feel like it's gonna steal my stat. What a yummy drink. Yeah, that's it. The 
Tomu is a very powerful beverage. Not just you, but also all, but all of you need to take sips from it carefully. It will open your souls to this beautiful full moon we have tonight, and its power will shine through all your stats, even if it's just a little bit. <laughs> we both get stats, holy base. Mm. That's even as for some beautiful magic, my friend. It's a magical object to let some of your inhibe be there. But since you just drank it, I can't see my stats anymore. Oh no! This is the part where I leave before you, you go all over me. Yeah. <laughs> Farting around. I'm gonna choose, um... Farting around by Kevin Mc... I'm gonna choose... What? I think I'm gonna choose... I think a good one. Sneaky snitch. <laughs> I chose sneaky snitch and you chose farting around. Ah uh, yeah, the farting around survival bit. Oh. Oh. Alright, Team Blue, who's ready to go hard and crush the other team into the ground where they belong? Calculus to Hewlett Packard. Reporting for duty to defend my team, partner Dahlia. Uh huh. Doing it for the ground. Don't forget to okay, like and subscribe. <laughs> Not to be confused with middle post game topics. Everyone say Team Blue! Team Blue! <laughs> Wait, friends, Team Blue, look in the background of this selfie behind us. Try to steal our flag. Is that. Is here. Ah shoot, looks like you caught me. Uh, That's right! Team Red doesn't hurt me crashed into the ground where you belong. Wait, Badness does not seem doesn't seem super concerned. Why does Badness seem super concerned? Oh, well, maybe because I was only the version and a much deeper plan is already in, in motion. A plan you'll never be able to stop. Saved by the Deus Ex You see, Team Red has had a mole hiding inside your team this entire time. Little would your fools ever guess. Soon you'll suffer a great and painful betrayal! Right, Bone? Wait. Um, uh, Bone, are you planning on betraying? You're trying to find a defender, so I'm no. no, no, of course not. Hey, Bone, are you ready for the Ubel de Ross K? Or Ubel de Osprey? How do you say double cross and take that? <gasps> Friends Team Blue! It appears Partner is trying Badness is trying to get a secret message to possibly false partner Boner! Oh man! Has Boner really been pretending to be our friend all these years? Just to set up this betrayal and let Team Red capture our fl- Okay. Yeah, I'm My Discord is broken, so I have to fix it all day. Hello? Hello? There we go. Okay, you haven't been friends with Dahlia for years, much less anticipating a capture of the flag debacle. Time to clear your name before it's too late. You've been in league with Batness, but only to pretend to double cross Team Blue and really double cross Team Red. It's a triple cross. Research your family tree and reveal that your great 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 grandfather was one of the original Team Blue founders 150 years ago. This is definitely smart. That seems like smarts. Uh, I mean, it's not that it matters now because you can't see them. It's a, it's a guess. Damn it. This is pretty bold news. <laughs> Fuck! Not so smart! You can't excuse yourself from capturing the flag. Uh, uh, okay, then the last one I'll do is something. The top one would have been charm. Why are you handing oh. me your family trait? Like that makes you feel any <gasps> less of a traitor. Don't you see? Bonus great great grandfather was Blue Bluey McBlueberry, founder of Team Such Blue. Such an honorable scout. And then Bono would never portray Team Blue. Not when it's his birthright. When his grandfather built Team Blue from scratch with his very own hands. What an exciting revelation! 
allow me to do any more research for us. Hello, sis. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I thought this happened. It says here that Mick Blueberry did not found Team Blue at all, but rather stole it from an ancient capture, the flag group known as Team Harmony. Mm -hmm. Until Blueberry came in, slaughtered them all, took the team and began to death for himself. Yeah, I'm, rethink I'm reading a think piece on it right now. And it's <laughs> capturing the flag is one summer. thing, but capturing the people who captured the flag and killing all of them and taking a capture the flag team is bad. <laughs> The only fair thing to do is find the last living descendants of Team Harmony and give Team Blue Milo signing off. Great. Looks like a couple of them are instantly chosen me. Let's go. The whole team forfeits capture the flag as we journey to meet up with the descendants of Team Harmony, who live conveniently close to the camp. The last living ancestors of Team Harmony are very great, are actually very great. My mic keeps on plugging. And are actually very uh, gracious and appreciative of this gesture, and gladly take Team Blue back. They tell you that a few people, that a few people bother to learn about the disgusting history of Team Blue, or want to acknowledge the role that ancestors played in Team Harmony's oppression. They strike an agreement with you since that everything happens in Team Blue. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all good. Now they deserve to. Hey, where's our flag? Obviously, Batman took away you were off and making no apologies. Team, <laughs> team Harmony killed it whatever you wanted. It's now the losing team. These two can't one chance. Sweet. That's terrible. I fucking... I didn't know. Galza. I I'm starting to like the discount. Uh... <laughs> hmm. I would like to get some charm, please. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Uh... I would like to get some, um... Some... Some more boldness, please. The voice whispers from the holes in a terrifying voice. Sasha! You can't escape your fate! You'll soon gain boldness! But after that, something weird will happen to you. It could be great. Or terrible! You don't want something potentially terrible happening to you? So you stay close. And make sure you don't get extra boldness to the voice's profession. But try to get it, you get boldness. Lady, you're searching for the man's most elusive and epithelial ring of all. Or work yourself, I suppose. You find that Barry, Barry and Damien playing poker with some pumpkin. You need to learn from the pros. Heh, <laughs> royal flash. And over that immortal soul, baby. <laughs> Whatever, I never said it was my immortal soul. soul. I traded a hobgoblin 10 rupees for this thing, so joke's on you. You have no control over my... Oh, hold on. I'm just, fix I'm just fixing my mic. I'm gonna beat this I'm worried that it, was never it wasn't recording my mic, so I just wanted to... I'm just gonna give you a little bit too or much. Or we can just get some bagels. Oh, he was gonna drink it. Nice. I was in my. It was a slow snacking phase before I just got him. I want you love. Then I was in the bagel. <sighs> oh, this sucks. Hey, Sasha, do you have any souls you can give me so I can get drunk and forget about how tired and bored I am? <laughs> These two took a bath from joy, but they couldn't stay awake in the haunted manor for 24 hours. <laughs> yeah! Clearly, she thought Damien and I needed a greater challenge after we competed to see who could survive multiple stab wounds the longest. There's no lame in here. It's impossible to stay awake. The discordant screaming of the damned spirit sounds exactly like the whole lullaby my dad used to sing me as a kid. Yeah, yeah, and the bloodthirsty voices in my head repeatedly whispering, kill your father, it's starting to give me ASMR. Boring! I tried chatting up the cursed paintings on the wall, but all they ever talk about is what they did to deserve being imprisoned in an oil on canvas. For eternity, yawn. Hey, Sasha, don't you help us? Why don't you help us not keel over? Either by entertaining you with your antics, or by letting me burn off your eyebrows. It's always been nice, it's always nice to be needed. What can you do to keep these sexy idiots from nodding off to work? <laughs> they can't look away. Discuss the most current injustices and problematic superiors of killing general say what? <laughs> Dinjal 32 Shrek Man. One night. What? I mean, what else could that be? What else could Shrek be? You other than fun? Yes. It just might work! Hey, it's a great idea! It'll be a relief to get the TV off this eardrum shattering static channel and Nice! I knew Someday. Yes? 
as you may well know, there are two main differences between the monster from universe and your universe. One monster is a real, two there are 32 shrink movies. It is truly a blessing. If only. You are this is so unfair that this isn't my world. Perfectly. You are Shrek 2, let's along to the Jennifer Saunders flawless cover of Holding Up Right Here. My mic is plugged I mean, in the first Shrek movie, he sucks on the dragon. Yeah! He sucks on Donkey's dick. So, what? All right, time for live on Shrek hard. I love Shrek's action film. Period. Here for it. I'm more of a fan of my neighbor Toto Totoroga. Bishy I I Bishy I Lord Farquaad was the best thing that ever happened to his character. Mm -hmm. Just me if you want. My favorite is still Puss in Boots. The only way to make Shrek better is to make it rated SC-17. <laughs> Watch them all. Shrek Morka, Shrek Noir, Shrek 27. It's just Shrek 2, but we already named it Shrek 27. Shrek 30, Untitled. The exper er, exp <laughs> exper experimental data Shrek movie, in which Fiona contemplates a banana for 180 minutes in a long slime. Your all night of being just tends to the three straight days of Shrek. Who's counting? Shrek is truly both love and life. You win the hell out of that bet. And at one point, you can grade the best movie of sexy friends while reaching for the popcorn. You gain 1.99 creativity and 0.99 creativity. Something bad. Um, the fact that I can't see my fucking stats. Uh, the ski mask. Um... GAY P- I'm joking. Um... Uh... 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 When you are really hungry, but you can't get food. So true. <laughs> Improv a 30 second pitch for a product that could eliminate said bad thing forever. Player Fucking order is decided by what is the best product. Stop pushing out. Now, I think we can all agree that ski masks are kind of fucking terrible, right? Bank robbers mm -hmm. wear them. Criminals wear them. People who want to shoot people can wear them. So I've invented something that can get rid of them forever. Take a look at this. Picture what? a head, like, helmet thing that has spikes on it. But, like, it's like one of those skin things. You know, like, skin masks. What the hell is this? With spikes on it. How is the fuck a... is someone going to get a ski mask on their face if there's spikes in it? Huh? They're fucking not. Okay? There's also, So um... you're suggesting we put spikes on the inside of ski masks? Yes. Every ski mask has spikes in it. So they're fucking you, useless! What, <laughs> what if you ski? What if you ski and you need a ski mask? People who ski should die anyway. <laughs> True enough. Um, I call it my the... product. My product is um the. better delivery. Basically, get this. Delivery, first of all, they take ages, don't they? Like They take like, what, 40 minutes to get you your full, your full meal? And deliver it to your house. That's so dumb. Uh, what you what you should do is get a better delivery. Where instead of that dumb wait time, because like what you want to wait forty minutes, you could starve in that time. You're already hungry. So what it does is it just it just has a giant room full of the food. It takes like ten like ten seconds to heat them up in the large oven. By large oven, I mean it's like a a mile tall and. Uh, a mile wide. The large oven. It's it's the large oven, and also um, a mile uh long because it's three dimensions, not two. Uh, uh, and it cooks them in ten seconds, and then it just puts them inside of a drone that flies to your house. But it's a super fast drone. It was built by the government. It's a bit longer than thirty seconds. It was built by uh the 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 the. the, 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 the and it, it just flies really fast to your home. And you Hurry up! The, clo the closest part of your home to you, which could be your window, and it smashes through. But it smashes through, and it gives you your food. So in total, like twenty seconds. For the food. <laughs> oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, I could do with some creativity wherever that is. That day, as a test coach, I have 10 minutes until I can't refund this game. You spent the last time. Oh my god. I don't know what you. I'm literal Avengers with a Robbie. 
You reached level 69, but level 9. Before you wasted your time. Wild Arabi appeared. Watch out, Sasha. If he finishes casting water to wine, 80% of your body will be made of yellow tail cabernet. You're told that's a typical Friday night for you. And instead, you use your slingshot for taste plus 2 to send, to send three bolts of pissing stream to the giant dungeon. Yeah! You did it! You really did it! He's defeated forever! Or possibly just for three days. Either way, it looks like there's some kick ass sandals in the loot bag you dropped. Robbie hits you with a crisp low five. Uh, after which, your hands seem to linger for just a fraction of a second too long. Robbie blushes. Sex. Suddenly, a pleasant chime noise fills the air. Ding! What's that symbol mean? What's happening? Level up, loser! Check it out, Sasha. We gained enough XP that it's time to level up. A relationship. <gasps> looks like. Between crucifying Dungeon Jesus and the erotic hand touching, we're able to advance from enemies to friends all the way to will they, won't they? <gasps> Power up! And even better, now you get to unlock a new skill from your relationship skill tree. Which one are you gonna pick? Oh man, choosing new skills is critical for normal. I've got a level, of course. Not natural video game, that'd be ridiculous. It's no different. Time to pick a skill that is children of Bristol Ravi and will take you to the oh, will they, will they? Shit. The abilities craft cryptic personal inside jokes to get those double charm. Go on! I ah, ten know. minutes! Nine minutes! Tell me what you think each of them is. Double jump's fun. <laughs> um, double are you jump. sure? Uh, alright, alright, double jump. Ah, I feel like the top one's creative. That's this one. Ah, ah, they, they, say they, they say something! They say something! They said something! I don't know what they said! Oh, I don't know what they said! Uh, what are you doing? Know, Hashtag I'm bless. I'm gorgeous, Bono. I don't know why time just skipped like you three minutes. You suck. Uh, are not supposed to Wait, be why, why are they wearing a cat? Why, why do some people just randomly wear cat, cat outfits sometimes? Uh, my low size happily leans on your shoulder. Well, so this is one of your favorite parts of life. <gasps> Ooh, look, Bono. The caterer for the party just confirmed that they can make the Amos bouche. Look, tiny versions of your face. Thank God. My man, I can't believe that the party is tomorrow. Life flies oh, by so quick. Oh shit! By the way, have you started contemplating your big party? <laughs> you need this. You the evening. And really, the encapsulation of what made your life worth living. Hey, darling. Why didn't you remember what you have in life have so far? Fuck. I'm sure I'll be thrown in. Jack, you, the you don't know your stats. And this is a secret what ending. What the fuck? I got four choices. That's dumb as shit. End of a beautiful song. My favorite ice cream flavor. A five-letter word. Just some any another thing that happens. Oh, shit. I'm on, a, I'm on a timer here. Just pick one, dude. Pick one that appeals to you the most. Now. Yeah, oh, motherfucker. God. Um. You're the one who's rushing. So I go. Rushing. I am rushing. I'm speed running. Don't seem like it. Um. You don't know your stats. It doesn't matter. Uh, just use this. And, um... The Jazz Solo, Rabid Raccoon, Turtle, this one. Decadent, Sex, Orgy, all... Post-Credits, or Orgy. Um... Now we should all... Credits. Ah, yes, oh, yes! Kind. Your words ring so true, so wise. I've brought death to so many people, and I couldn't have put it together myself. Death is truly the end of a beautiful song. When I think like that, my job is going to be for a cause I only in layer of meaning, doesn't mm. And life, life, such poetry, Bono. You make life and death so, make so much sense, of course. If life is a desolate and juicy peach, and that would be under my name, it'd be for life. Life, uh, it's yeah. so oh, beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You love me. I will I definitely get it. twerk with you. I will twerk with you. I will twerk with you. Oh, magnificent. Your Every moment You're is so beautiful. <laughs> Passionate dance. Tomorrow will be a sad day. But also a wonderful day. Let's dance to life and to all that makes this wild ride. Oh, okay. Life so the last thing a on a secret ending route doesn't require that anymore. Okay, that's <laughs> lovely. Are we up, Raylord? I will ask a Ravi. Yes. You will ask mm. Milo. Milo. Speedrun! Ah, Wait, you wanna be my summer fling? Yes, it's not. Please. Whoa! Like dating? Uh okay. I mean, we could totally get into competitive dating. Oh, what a fierce yeah, adversary. You versus me. <laughs> get ready for intense sessions of dating, Sasha. I'm gonna totally kick your ass. Well, kiss my ass. You hope so. <laughs>
last day of camp, so awesome. During the media shower, Ravi kept listening to adventures you two moved on during the fall. It sounded like a lot of stuff that you could get easily get you easily killed, but hey, it was implied she wanted for you to remain in contact for the time being. You know stuff that can see that continuing to see her was going to be the best most exciting adventure of the day. Uh, <laughs> Today's the day. Today you die. Hey Bona, we both know what happens now. Are you ready? As ready as you'll ever be. Your big party goes off without a hitch. It's a true celebration of life. Your life. After I'm not hours there. of dancing and fun, everyone has gone to watch the media shower somewhere else. It has been beautiful, hasn't it? I've loved doing this with you. I didn't know you that well before, but now that I've arranged, helped you arrange the celebration of your life, I think I know you much better. And I must admit, I like what I see. Okay, it should happen any moment now. I'll get a ping from my phone for the gig. I asked to take any gig nearby tonight, so I should be the one bringing you to the other side. To hold hands and wait. And wait. Wait, let me check something. Oh. Oh! Okay, so, funny story. I think I misread the gig. It wasn't you who's dying tonight, but another boner. It's a pretty common name, you know. If only I really? had a bit more attention to my gigs. My bad. So, you're not gonna die? I mean, you will someday, but not tonight. Still, we could keep on celebrating life, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna have sex. <sighs> oh. Milo starts undressing while entering the lake. They throw you a short suggestion. Give yourself over to absolute <laughs> Holy pleasure. Your heart stops for a second, like in a good way. Enjoy my little lake. That before you refund the game. So they're so free, so love and life. You could learn a lot from them, like how meaningless it is to worry about death. You gonna screenshot it? I did. When you okay, can spend good. every night, minute passing in the earthly wonders of being Holy alive. Holy shit! And at that <laughs> that night, you learn, learn you learn to celebrate life in a f feast of flesh and desire. Damn. Very nice. Hurry up! I don't know how long I've got. Very nice. You got, you're out of time. You're out of time. Oh, I know it. Those weeks were gone. It felt like a hot felt minute. Like a hot it minute. It felt like... That night, as we saw someone coming Colin. to an end, we all wonder what we could. What? Did we know? Life still had many wonders and misadventures in store for us. Now I'm older, and I can see it. How those years became the foundation of the mythology of our lives. Broken hearts turned tragedies sung for centuries, while wild nights became epic treasures forever. Every kiss and every laugh is now a constellation we'll always find while gazing into the starry night, no matter how many years go by. Dead cats. Okay, fuck off. <laughs> Alright, that was fun! Bye, guys! Say goodbye, Check out the gallery! Oh, fine. Say Look goodbye, Fraser, say goodbye! How oh, awesome. Say goodbye now, Fraser. Yep. Say goodbye now, Fraser. No, there's so many things. Fraser! Hurry up! Say goodbye! Alright, uh, you're not gonna say goodbye, I'll say goodbye. Bye bye bye!